the sort of sneering songs we wrote about old people in the, you know, when we were in our 20s, and they're now aimed at us, aren't they? <laughs> We've all got houses in the country. <laughs> I just remember at the time going, these people, they don't, they don't know anything. They don't even know they're alive. And now that's us. Right, let's do it. Dave Roundtree, welcome back to Absolute Radio. How are you? Yes, good, thank you. Very good. It's time for the new year. What better time to launch your next record? <laughs> uh, so congratulations on it coming out. It's out now. Um, and it's called Radio Songs. Yes. We're going to have a, a chat about that. But with the music that you uh, wrote with Blur, I mean, you were kings of Britpop and kings of that particular genre of which we'll, we'll speak about. But with this one, some might be interested to know this is almost like an ele- electronic album, isn't it? With orchestral flourishes and you're singing for the first time as well, aren't you? Singing fronting vocals for the first yeah. time, yes. You know, the past kind of eight, nine years I've been writing film music, kind of that's been my day job really, so mm. ever since the, the last Blur Tour, so it's probably seven years in, in reality. You've played, was it the Moth Club you played? Was it Moth Club? I played three shows. I played the Amira. Amira, that was it, yeah. And then a couple of shows out of town. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And are we going to get some more? My uh, my plans for a festival tour in the summer have rather been usurped by another project <laughs> I'm <laughs> peripherally involved in. So, uh, yeah, we may have to wait until... <laughs> like, the, guys, I've been waiting to put this out for 58 years. <laughs> <laughs> and now... We, well, if you'd, if you, it would be prudent of me not to ask you about that reunion, yeah. of course, uh, while you're here. Um, this is the first time you guys will have toured for seven years yeah. after the Magic Whip. When was this all decided? Well, the willingness has been there for some time, right. but uh, obviously it was interrupted by COVID, as so many people's plans were. And then post-COVID, it was virtually impossible to play the kind of venues that we play. There were, pardon me, there were waiting lists of about, I don't know, 10 or 15 acts on right. each date. Yeah, the avails were all gone, year. weren't they? <laughs> in every venue, so it was like, didn't seem like it was going to happen. And I think right up until about a couple of weeks before we uh, we announced the shows, it didn't seem like to me it was going to happen. So uh, wow, I'm sure people think that there's been some sort of master plan <laughs> going on behind the scenes that there are sort of men in grey suits that uh, sort of subtly pull the strings and mm. we all keep this a secret. If only people knew what it was actually <laughs> like being in a band. <laughs> Just a WhatsApp group. You there? You there? Yeah. We're um, doing it. What's happening? Uh, is it on? Is it off? What? <laughs> <laughs> Who did you hear that from? Um, so you, I believe you've never played Wembley before, is that right? No, Wembley Arena. Right. But never played Wembley Stadium and that was really what uh, tempted us back out uh, on the road. It was just one of those things where you know, like the Budokan in Tokyo and the Madison Square Garden in New York, where mm. these iconic venues yeah. where you just can't you just can't say no to them, can you? Exactly. So uh yeah, when when it was mentioned, everybody went, That sounds brilliant. Followed closely by Do you think people are still interested? It's, it's been a while. Do you think oh. we'd still sell any tickets? That'd be an embarrassing embarrassing climb down if we put that on sale <laughs> to take it off sale again. I think it's a lot of very excited people counting down the days so of two nights yeah. now at Wembley yeah. as well. Um, with that, are there going to be any surprises in terms of music? Can you tell me anything? Uh, well, I mean, that's all, all yet to start, all of those discussions. So, okay. yeah, I mean, it's only, you know, it's January and we're playing in yeah. uh, Ju- July. Okay, so, uh, watch your space. some rehearsals to be done between now and then. Paint the picture for me. You're in a re- rehearsal space wherever you go and do it. When you're in a band, you're, it's a relationship like brothers and sisters, isn't it? It's like a family. So do uh, is there a couple of you that bicker about the set list or is there someone who always <laughs> needs to have a separate bunk or a set, you know, a bath in a hotel? Is there, no, is there one funny relationship that always... We're kind of be- we've been through all of that and come out the other side, sure. really. You know, just try and get on with each other these days. <laughs> really <laughs> try and not be prima donnas. <laughs> It's kind of, your life is just so much easier if you just smile and nod and yeah, just sure. try and try and have fun. And you know, we're at a stage in our careers now and, you know, if we, if we were never to play again, no, we never, wouldn't get any criticism from anybody. You know, we've done pretty much everything there is to do. You know, we've done yeah. the headlining Glastonbury and all of that. We've done all that multiple times, you know, nothing to prove to anyone. These days, we might as well just enjoy it, may not we? We might as yeah. well just relax and uh, to enjoy take the, the pressure off each other and just try and enjoy it. I was wondering as well, with the, with the whole kind of back catalogue that you have, because there's so many big songs in that, is there any that... I remember talking to James Dean Bradfield about this, songs that have kind of changed their meaning to you over the years. 
Yeah, the kind of the sort of sneering songs we wrote about old people in the, you know, when we were in our twenties, and now aimed at us, aren't they? <laughs> we've all got houses in the country. <laughs> we've, we've all There's we all have involved. jogged around the park, you know. And I just remember <laughs> at the time going, these people, they don't, they don't know anything. They don't even know they're alive. And now that's us. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hooray! terrible. It's terrible. We've turned into the people that uh, we used to write sneering songs about. <laughs> and now the youth are all still wearing '90s stuff as well. So it's kind of well, still wearing '90s stuff. Yeah, it? I mean, I, I've I've worn the same clothes really for, <laughs> <laughs> for 35 years. Me too. <laughs> One day just, I'll be back in fashion. It'd be brilliant. I just hold on to that mantra now. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, it's why change? Why change the habits of a lifetime exactly. now? It's going to be worked for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know what, Dave? It's been so nice to see you again. Thank you, darling, for coming in. My pleasure. Um, Radio Songs is an absolute triumph. I'm so excited to see it live. Thank, um, you. thank you so much, and we'll see you in June at Wembley as well. Brilliant. Thanks, Take Dave. care. You too.